Hello. Welcome to Sirwin's Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 02, Property Dividends. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So again, Lecture 02. Property Dividends And here is our problem Sarina Company revealed the following chronological transaction for 2025 and 2026 Here is our requirement Journal entries to record the transaction Okay? Gawin na lang kaagad natin So first, 2025 December 4 And as we do it, we try to explain the problem Ang sabi, purchase 80,000 shares part 10 pesos at 40 per share as long term investment. So basically bumili lang naman siya ng share, nag-invest lang naman siya. We are just going to debit investment in equity securities. Ayan. And we are going to credit cash. For how much? Diba 80,000 shares yung kanyang binili? At ang banggit dito, 40 pesos ang kanyang price, bawat isa. Therefore, Debit investment in equity securities for 3,200,000 And credit cash for 3,200,000 Let's continue Pagdating ng December 8, ang banggit dito Declared a property dividends 100 pesos worth of merchandise For everyone share held Okay? So nagkaroon ng property dividends Or that's what we call dividends in kind Yan So this is the date of declaration At kahit hindi pa natin natatanggap yung mismong merchandise Declaration pa lang Maaari na tayong mag-recognize ng income okay? Kasi nga sa date, of this, sa date of declaration Meron ka ng karapatan na tumanggap Therefore, accrual principle Pwede ka nang magkaroon ng income Dahil nga may karapatan ka na Doon sa kung ano man ang sinabi nilang kanilang ibibigay So therefore, December 8 What will be our entry? Debit property dividends receivable Ayan, kasi may receivable naman talaga tayo Property dividends receivable And credit dividends income Dividends income For how much? Ang sabi dito For every one share held May 100 peso per value yung, eh, fair, fair value Yung ating property dividends So 80,000 times 100 so, 8 million ang possible na dividends na ating matatanggap. Ayan. Tumuli lang tayo. Next. December 28 is the date of record. Walang entry sa date of record sapagkat inaalam lang naman dyan kung sino yung aktual o yung pangalan na makakatanggap ng dividends. So, wala pong transfer of resources. That's why there is no entry for December 28. Now, December 31, 2025, that is the end of the reporting period. The fair market value of the merchandise declared as dividend increased by 20%. So what does it mean? Alalahanin muna natin ang valuation ng property dividends. Ang banggit doon, it is measured at fair value. Just like in what happened in December 8. Paano ngayon kung sakaling nabago ang fair market value ng property dividends? The answer is, we will account for the changes in the fair value of that dividend. Na ang sabi nga dito, 20% na tumaas. Therefore, yung iyong dividends income, hindi laman pala talaga 8 million, but rather dadagdagan din natin ng pagtaas, yung 20% na nga na yun. Okay? Gawin na lang natin yung December 31 para magkaintindihan. Even though hindi pa naiibigay talaga yung property dividends, siya ay receivable pa lamang, tataas na rin ang, ating, ang value ng ating matatanggap. Still, asset pa rin yun, yung receivable, kahit hindi mo pa talaga nakokolekta. At matatagdagan din siyempre yung ating dividends income, Dahil nga tumaas ang market value Nung property na ating matatanggap Sabi, increase by 20% Magkano ba yun? Di ba't ang kanyang value talaga Nung simula is 8 million Tumaas siya ng 20% So therefore times 0.2 There will be an increase of 1,600,000 In the value of our dividends to be received Ayan Okay, so that's it Ngayon, pagdating ng 2026, ang sabi dito, receive the inventory declared as property dividends. Yan ay yung pagkakataon kung saan date of distribution, matatanggap na natin yung dividends na kalang dineclare. So, gawin na lang po natin. So, noong 2026, yan, January 17, dahil inabutan ng kasunod na taon, yan ay yung pagkakataon na magde-debit na tayo ng merchandise, 
inventory sapagkat yan yung kanilang ipinamigay na dividends okay let's see paninda din natin yan inventory din sa atin and then we are going to credit property dividends payable ah sorry receivable kasi nga tayo yung nag-invest now by how much di ba nung una nag-record tayo amounting to 8 million yan and then tumas nga yung value niya ng 20% so we add that 1.6 million Therefore, the total inventory value, the fair value, hindi naman sinabing nagbago, that would be 9.6 million. And we are going to credit the property dividends receivable, yung ating recorded na value before, noong December 31, 9.6 million. I believe, tapos na po yung ating problem. Again, mag-recap tayo ng isa pa. Ang property dividends ay measure at fair value. So that's why kapag ka nagkaroon ng changes, we still recorded or we, we still uh, revalue the property dividends and we increase our dividends income because of the changes in the fair value. Okay, so sana meron ka natutunan. So yun lamang at maraming salamat.